Hello and welcome to Bro Jewel. We're hoping you're enjoying Fallout so far. To kick off our Fallout 4 content, in this video we'll be outlining the two companions that are available to you from the start of Fallout 4, Codsworth and Dogmeat. Let's start off with Codsworth, arguably the simpler of the two. Codsworth is a Mr. Handy robot that originally served you, the main character, before the bombs hit and all hell broke loose. A Mr. Handy, for those of you that don't know, was basically the Fallout universe's version of a robot butler, tending to your every need in day to day life. You will be able to find Codsworth exactly where you left him over 200 years ago in Sanctuary Hills, usually hanging around just outside of the destroyed and dilapidated houses that are left behind. You'll be able to recruit him as a follower as soon as the first quest is completed and you return to Sanctuary, which is only 30 to 40 minutes into the game. Codsworth can help you in battle and definitely knows his way around a fight. He'll deal decent damage to any aggressive enemies and can't be killed permanently by either you or them as he's listed as an essential NPC. The only real option you have in terms of interacting with him is to either speak to him to enjoy a little banter or get his opinion on your current situation. You can also use him as a mule of sorts, storing any spare items on him until you reach the nearest place to sell them or craft with them. Codsworth can be a little picky about your actions, meaning that if you steal something or attack something that you aren't supposed to in front of him, he'll kick up a fuss about it or even turn against you. Which can get quite annoying if you're playing a character with questionable morals. He's also able to actually call you by the name you choose when you create your character, if it's one of the names on the pre-chosen list. There are hundreds of names that are compatible, even some joke names that Bethesda threw in for you to enjoy. You can hear him call me by my very own name right here. Mr. Aspects, welcome back, sir. I do hope you were able to find some assistance in Concord. Overall, Codsworth can be a great companion with his witty sense of humour and decent fighting skills. But if you're looking to bend or even break the rules, you might want to think twice before having him by your side. Onto the second companion, we've got Dogmeat. Dogmeat is a dog that you'll find relaxing at the Red Rocket truck stop, just outside of Sanctuary Hills where you found Codsworth. Not a whole lot is known about Dogmeat and we're not sure yet if he had a previous owner or where he came from. The reason why I refer to Codsworth as the most simple of these two companions is because even though Dogmeat might not have as much to say as Codsworth, he can definitely prove himself useful. There are a few other dialogue options that you'll have at your disposal here, ranging from purely visual like making him do tricks for you, to the more useful like having him search out items or even enemies that are close by. It's simple to do, simply talk to him and then select play fetch. From there you can either get him to search for items or enemies within a certain radius. It can be slightly difficult to use at times, we found the item searching more useful because usually if he can stiff out an enemy they're not too far away, and you might have already spotted them in the time it took him to check. Searching for items with Dogmeat can prove useful though, allowing you to scout an entire room in no time all thanks to your trusty companion. You can even point and click an area to make Dogmeat run ahead of you to check for any potential loot or dangers. Dogmeat can also act as a bank or mule too, storing items the same way Codsworth does. In the heat of battle we have to say we'd prefer to have Codsworth by our side when compared to Dogmeat. If you're up against a larger and more powerful enemy, Dogmeat can be thrown around like he's not even there, while Codsworth will actually stand his ground and fight. On the other hand, Dogmeat, as a loyal companion, will turn a blind eye to any bad deeds that may occur. Being a dog, we're sure he isn't too caught up in making sure you're a righteous character, so that gives him a huge advantage over Codsworth if you'd like to be a little bit shady in your playthrough. One thing we enjoyed with both of the companions is the little conversation they'd have when you switch one of them out for the other. Whether it's a sad whimper from Dogmeat or a clever quip from Codsworth, it's a little touch that we appreciated and enjoyed. So now you know all you need to know about these companions, and hopefully this video will have helped you make up your mind on who to take along with you on your very first journey through Fallout 4. That's all for this spotlight, we hope you're enjoying Fallout 4, let us know down below what you'd like to see from us regarding Fallout. We've got a video outlining all of the settings of Fallout 4 and what they do coming up, so we hope you enjoy that too. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.